Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the show. My name is Warren.Guru, and some call me Low Key Bunny. Today, I have a special episode today because I have, well, I want to be able to show you, first of all, how to be able to do some things that honestly isn't really taught really well. And it's very simple, but it's not taught. And so I thought to myself, there's a lot of people in this space, especially in the space of essentially deploying, becoming devs, uh, essentially getting their hands involved with mini wallets in Solana. And so with that being said, when they rush to get a tool to bundle, such as like dog web tools, the first two things that comes to mind is uh, beyond the tool itself, the recurring fees that you may or may not have uh, with your particular bot. And those fees usually are specifically node related when it comes to the rental uh, that you'll be using on the speed to get to and from Solana, right? So then there's the node and the and the monthly rental on that and that price essentially is variant you know some no companies uh are doing ultra fast speeds to the point where we're looking at easy 15 soul a month just to run then there's some companies right that uh are like five soul for example a month now the thing about these particular node companies is that uh, they essentially are set up in a way where they are close to the Solana mainnet. That could be pretty much Frankfurt. It could be Virginia. It can be New York. These companies geographically place themselves in a position where uh, they're close to the Solana blockchain due to the fact that they have the speed advantage to do buy and sell transactions at a fast rate. So essentially, uh, they're going to be able to sandwich um, transactions and profit. Now, what I want to do is I really want to just kind of dive into showing you guys um, the proper way to do a benchmark test because I looked online, I looked on YouTube and I never, I didn't see it, you know, and, you know, being that I use dog with tools, I thought it was going to be an injustice uh, showing people, um, you know, essentially what the benchmarks are and how that pretty much works in that whole game. So with any further ado, what I want to do is I want to pull on the screen uh, a benchmark test so that way you guys can see it and then kind of explain to you how that works and, you know, we'll go from there. Okay, so what you currently are seeing right now is basically a test by Mimo Bench. As you can see up here, it says Mimo Bench. Now, basically, in a nutshell, when you're looking to get a node or you're looking to get a virtual private server, I get asked all the time this question, which is, you know, what node should I use or what virtual private server should I use? Now, I personally, what I say is I particularly choose the node first, then I try to see if the VPS or at least I try to see if the node company offers a virtual private server within the same, you know, room or building uh, as the node. So you're essentially getting the fastest speeds and they're essentially connected to each other, allowing you to not have to worry about so much of the front run that happens a lot at times when you are kind of flying blind especially not having any type of benchmark speed test done in your own system. So what we're seeing here, right, is a couple of things. One, this is the quote unquote RPC slash WS URL. Now these two things you'll see commonly when it comes to specifically RPC companies, you're gonna have the RPC URL, you're gonna have the WS URL that they give you. Now these things sometimes are gonna be IP addresses that are whitelisted or, I mean, sorry, they're gonna be Basically, you would give them your IP address and they would whitelist that particular IP address so that way only that IP would be able to use that node. That's one way of doing that. Some node companies um, will attach like an API uh, key, so to speak, so that way the actual 
node is literally given to you and not not really IP but listed, but essentially it's like that a that API key along with this particular you know set of uh, IP address that can follow along with it allows it to be just your your specific system. So that's the thing. Um, now. Uh, when it comes down to it, you also are testing the amount of transactions or tech seats that are being, um, you know, bought and sold. So in this particular case, they're testing essentially 50 wallets. And that's why it says transactions landed 50 out of 50 right here. Now, the minimum TX seat landing, the tech seat essentially is just another word for a wallet, is saying that it took 1.146 seconds for it to hit this particular, uh, you know, test and the max was 1.15, meaning that the average tech seat landing is about 1.149. So what that means in layman's terms is when you are in the process of essentially doing your project, if this was your particular setup, by the time you went ahead and did a experimental, not a safe, but an experimental deploy and you went off of block zero, you essentially would land approximately between 1.1 to 1.49 or something like that average speed to and the thing about that is if people are using speeds that are faster with faster vps's and we'll talk about vps in a second but if they're doing these things at a quarter of a speed for example if you're running at 1.1 seconds however the competitor is running at 249 milliseconds Theoretically, they're able to essentially go in and out of the contract four times before you could even think about selling. So with that being said, let me kind of give you an idea of how to be able to test. Now, to test, this thing is going to be great because most of these no companies, they understand for those people who know what they're doing, which is kind of seldomly, but for those people who know what they're doing, they'll allow you sometimes to get maybe 10, 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes of free node time. So you can essentially test and see if the speed is comparable on your system. So what I want to do real quick is I'm going to show you how these are happening, how these tests are happening. Most of the time in these, these scores, uh, you're going to find benchmark tests throughout all these nodes, whether it be G RPC or RPC. Everyone essentially needs to know essentially what type of speed they're working with before they essentially buy. And unfortunately, a lot of times these new people are coming into space with a little bit of money. They don't even do the testing. They just simply buy because everyone else tells them this is a good particular node. When in reality, there's no significant DYOR to ground the fact that you are going to get what you paid for. So with that being said, hopefully this video will show you before you begin your bundler journey to essentially be able to monetize or not necessarily monetize but necessarily just monitor the, the the rate as far as uh you know how you do things so first thing first is we're gonna go out of here and we're gonna actually uh go to this one website all right so let's go to this website here um and this website essentially is a job it's essentially is to uh give us some software so let's go back here now I'll put this link in the description so everyone can see it, but it's called Memo Bench, and um, it's by um, basically Benji Wheeler. And um, if you guys scroll, you'll be able to test this out. But essentially, you need to download the Memo Bench. Um, and now, if you're on Windows, just simply just download the Windows version here. So I am on Windows currently, and so I'm gonna download that one. Okay. Once you do download it, you're going to get the, uh, a, a zip file. And that zip file will essentially open up in your download section. And you can simply just double click on the actual, uh, you know, benchmark. Go to RPC benchmark main. So double click on that. And basically what's going to happen is you're going to be able to uh, actually enter some information, some requirements. Okay. So let me open up that file. So I'm going to click on benchmark memo benchmark um, Windows XA4 because I just downloaded that. Once I click on it, it opens up these these uh, these two files. One is going to be config.json and the other one is going to be just this readme file almost that says memo bench 1713. Um, you can see it right here. My bad. So yeah, like I said, you, you basically you're downloading this exe file, which you're going to find here on the website. 
NemoBench. And then once you download that file, you will double click on it. There's no installation needed. And once you do double click on that, then you're gonna get in, you're gonna get two other files. One file is gonna be called config.json, and the other file is gonna be called memobench173. So you can simply just double click or just right click and then go to open uh, and edit it, edit in notepad I mean. And this is basically, it says config file saved, edit the config and restart. So essentially this file is just a placeholder. All you need to do is right click on your config.json, go to open with, go to notepad, and then you have some information that you can place in here. Now, the first thing first you will have is you're going to place in a private key to a, it's basically a test wallet. So let me see if you guys can see that. There we go. So it asks you for this, this information here. The first thing you're going to put is as a private key to a test wallet. You're essentially going to test the speed of your RPC by just basically creating a, a new wallet and then maybe putting about point, you know, point 0.15, point 0.2, 0.20 in there, right? So once you put your private key in there, you're gonna go ahead and now use the RPC URL and also the WS URL that we were just referring to. That's gonna go into the here, and this is gonna be which the one that you're testing, whether it be we node or we you know any other type of particular uh, RPC node. This is how you can essentially copy and paste their you know RPC and WS settings into the uh, into the config files to be able to be able to get your stuff uh, tested out. So beyond that. Um, the uh, send RPC URL is the same as the actual RPC URL. So that's the same. The rate limit, keep it the same. The Texian count, you can keep that the same. It's essentially saying that it's going to test a hundred different transactions uh, and see essentially what the speed would be. The priority fee, um, you can you can put that as like either 0. 0.0. 0, 01 it's just uh the t there's a fee to get to buy and sell the transaction and if you want you can put the node retries at like two or three that's just in case anything does happen it'll essentially do a retry now with that being said you simply would just hit file and literally go and save and from that point on as long as there's solana in that particular wallet private key you simply just double click on the benchmark when um exe file one more time and what it should do in reality is it should give you a test result similar to what you see right here it'll open up it'll understand that there's solana in the wallet it's got a private key you've already configured it correctly and it'll start beginning its transaction test whether you chose 150 or whatever you know transactions you decided to do it'll show up there but the most important part when it comes down to it is you want to be able to uh see the minimum i mean that, sorry not minimum but you want to be able to see the average you want to see the average taxi landing so that way you know whether you're on a vps or a land whatever you're on you can essentially create um a working point where after you understand at least the level if you want to increase it to be a lot faster then you can start asking questions about vps virtual private servers is it in the room, same room do you do you have a recommendation you know, I see that you're on the Discord. I mean, I see that there's this benchmark test in the Discord. Can you tell me how I can essentially get to this particular speed? Because I like to invest into, you know. So these are the questions that you need to essentially be asking before you even um, put any Solana down to even rent a Discord. Why rent one when you don't have a test? And so, again, I just wanted to put this video together because I looked online and I didn't see anybody talking about how to essentially create a... Uh, significant test when it comes to your rpc nodes and to be able to essentially kind of quote unquote rev, rev that engine so to speak uh prior to actually getting into these these deployments and you know losing money through due to the fact that the speeds were not comparable enough so hopefully that makes sense now when it comes to a virtual private server again i usually look at that in the last so things just do the fact that a VPS <clears throat> for me, the up and download speed needs to be at least three to four gigs up and down. A lot of times people think that having 600 megabytes to 600 down is just as sufficient. And honestly, it might be for gaming or you know streaming or of that nature. But when it comes to like ultimate speeds of buy and sell transactions, especially on the Solana blockchain, well, it's best that that information that is being delivered outside of your tool, which is at this time dog with tools, that information gets streamlined as soon as possible to the node. So the node can essentially 
give that validation to Solana to be able to get you into your particular position. So hopefully this made sense, guys. I wanted to just break this down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to provide a link in the description, which will allow you to essentially download or get to the GitHub at, the, at that matter. And you can download it on either on your Linux or your Windows, whatever you're using. So that way you can do your benchmark test. This is something that is something that you should use always. I use benchmark tests before I even do deploys because I want to make sure that my speeds are always comparable. You never know what's happening. It could be situations even with the own node that they're experiencing delays. And the last thing you want to do is do a project with thousands of dollars and potentially be in a situation where you could have prevented it a bad situation. So with that being said, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm just a guy on YouTube that just simply want to show you guys the ins and out ropes when it comes to specifically this DeFi meme coin world. Um, if you have any questions, of course, please reach out to me. Um, I'd love to just definitely say thank you so much for watching. And hopefully you will be able to do the correct no test so that way you can profit in the long run. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.